Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. So, Gravekeepers, uh, actually a first place decklist of um, uh, a tournament little over 50 people, uh, hosted by a Distant Coder, you might know him, probably know him, the streamer, one of the Yu-Gi-Oh! streamers, and um, the decklist caught my attention, and um, the reason, or for the reason, is that uh, Gravekeepers for the DCG isn't really a deck that's super competitive anymore. Uh, you know, we're speaking here from uh, for 2022, 2021, 2022. But it has been competitive like years ago, from the top of my head, 2010-ish, 11-ish, something, somewhere like that. Because, and that's the biggest strength of the deck, that's this card. Where is it? The I guess the it, it, it's kind of similar to Domain Monarchs in some way because Necro Valley is actually a field spell. It's searchable by Commandants, one of the Gravekeeper monsters, and um, the Necro Valley states that, uh, let's say, for example, your opponent cannot, for example, banish cards from their graveyard. So it basically blocks uh, uh, players from using their graveyard. And uh, from the top of my head, you know uh, stuff like uh, Adam Emancipator, current one of the best decks on Master Duel. Uh, something like Zodiacs as well tries to hit the graveyard or, you know, reborn stuff. There's... Eldritch, one of the most popular deck currently on Master Duel in Platinum ranks and this deck is a superb answer to that because this card, this field spell Necro Valley basically pre prevents them from uh, using their their uh, graveyard effects, right? So that's cool. Uh, a couple of things first of all, yeah, let's zoom in into the deck list first. There are some, well, Inspector Border speaks for itself, it's a monster negation, I guess it's basically a skill drain alike card but skill drain on legs, uh, if that makes sense. I feel that the reason why this deck is so powerful is, first of all, Card of Demise. Card of Demise is still legal at 3 here in Master Duel, and it's kind of an unfair card, and that's the reason why this deck is running so, uh, at least not too many monsters, because you want to get as much value as possible off of your Card of Demise, right? That you set your entire hand and draw 3. Something like that. Uh, another power spell, and it actually was limited in the TCG for quite a while, but I believe it's back at 3, if I'm not mistaken, and that's Royal Tribute. Royal Tribute states that if you have a Necro Valley on your side of the field, you can use the card and then, most importantly, well, both players, but most importantly, uh, your opponent as well, discards all monsters from their graveyard, at least from their hand to the graveyard. So, it speaks for itself. That's fantastic. It blocks a lot of uh, Emancipator, Eldritch, Zodiacs, gets rid of their entire monster lineup, and a lot of decks are, you know, somewhat monster heavy. So if you're able to, let's say, go first, activate Necro Valley, uh, activate uh, Earl Tribute as a follow up play, that again prevents them basically from playing the duel. And of course, as you see, there is a somewhat trap lineup here in this particular deck. Of course, Solemn Judgment, because there is too many, you know, random decks in the, the single duel uh, format tournament structure here on Master Duel like Lightning Storm evenly matched maybe your opponent's Galaxy Cyclone which is also in here as Spell and Trap Destruction which is definitely needed it's solid uh, generic draw cards like Pot of Extravagance again superb because and that's another point is that i made some small changes here in the extra deck the particular i mean i will leave a link uh, in the video description to the particular deck list but um, i mean the fusion is there as well but uh, there is i think unless i'm missing it but no way to get it on the field unless and it should be in here as well where is it this one uh, spiritualist, that is the name. Uh, it gives the Gravekeeper deck the potential, because it's also, you know, a, a Gravekeeper monster, the potential fusion summon, but I don't think that's worth it. Um, the extra deck is just there because of Pot of Extravagance, Banish 6, Draw 2, so basically a Pot of Greed. Made some small changes to the extra deck, um, you know, against the, the original deck list, like adding in some staple cards like Abyss Dweller, basically good against almost any deck. It's an ultra rare, keep that in mind. Most of them that I added are ultra rare, but again, at the same time, they're staple in a lot of decks because again rank 4 is pretty much one of the best if not the best uh, package or toolbox for Exceed monsters. Same for Excite and Knight to catch uh, a lot of people by surprise. Same for Castell, basically interruption or get rid of your opponent's uh, big boss monster for example. Uh, Tornado Dragon, very similar to Castell, hits those back rows from your opponent. 
Baguska is also one of them, uh, a super rare, very similar to skill drain, keep that in mind. If your opponent has basically all the answers, you could potentially go for like a rank 4 uh, exceed play if needed, but you're rarely using your extra deck. So let's say, uh, do you need an extra deck for this deck? No, not really. For the matter of fact, you can basically slap in 15 fusions and go with it because Again, you only need the extra deck because of Pot of Extravagance. So, but again, I mean, if it's there, there is still the potential threat for your opponent. Let's say the Excited Knight, the Zeus, if your opponent has a big boss monster, you could potentially go for Utopia and overlay for, let's say, Utopia the Lightning, for example, to attack over that big beat stick from your opponent. So it's that, you know, those are definitely all options. And the Link monsters as well are basically all filler. Imagine, again, just in case. So this particular tournament, six rounds of Swiss, I guess, best out of three and first place. So it's actually kind of okay, especially f the fact that Gravekeepers for us TCG players is not, well, like a, a super competitive deck. But this shows that uh, the decks that are possible on, uh, you know, to be played on Master Duel tournament level, uh, even though it's qu qu quote unquote locals, uh, it it's quite okay and again catches a lot of people by surprise and that's a card I haven't mentioned yet is this one it's a uh, temple and again it's, it's very similar to domain it prevents is it both players yeah um, uh, yeah indeed eh? uh, it prevents both players from special summoning so again very similar to vanity's emptiness or um, well domain of the monarchs but again domain prevents the extra deck but again basically every deck uh, almost uses the extra deck but again against eldritch <laughs> prevents all special summons so that's again fantastic um, this is the continuous spell, so together with Necro Valley, that's definitely nice. Now, other options, as you see here, uh, the other Gravekeeper cards, I probably would not recommend. You want to keep the monster count in your deck as low as possible to get the most value out of Card of Demise, as I mentioned before. Gravekeepers also have, um, like, a, we, we call it an Infernity Barrier Ally card, a, a, solemn, a themed a Solemn Judgment uh, um, tomb, eh, tombs of Necro Valley. It's uh, like a, a, a counter trap that negates everything from the opponent. And the thing is, is that mm, I'm not a huge fan of it because it needs a bit too much. Um, they are just better options. You're better off running Judgment, Solemn Judgment, which just needs life points. You know what I mean? Half your life points. Torrential Tribute, Solemn Strike, right? The Crackdown here is, I guess, you know, player's choice. Um, it's something you can definitely uh, change. Something like Fargo Blade or, or any Impermanence if you have it, even though it's an ultra rare. But again, those are staple. Basically, every deck runs Infinite Impermanence. So, again, you can definitely change it. And the reason why this deck is so strong is also because of this, because of Throne, you know, your Monster Searcher. So, there's definitely options if you look at the current meta top tier decks here on Master Duel, Ad Emancipator, Zodiac, uh, Eldritch, all of them use their graveyard and that's where, you know, Necrovelli comes into play to stop those. So, okay, guys, that's it. Hopefully this was useful. Definitely check out the link in the video description if you want to take a look at the original deck list. Okay, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leak him signing out. Peace.